When you're looking to buy bindings, whether it's online or in a shop, it may be confusing with so many different models and options available. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down exactly what you need to know when you're looking to buy your next pair of bindings. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to figure out is what kind of binding is gonna match the type of snowboard that you have. Just like with snowboards, bindings have different flexes. A softer flexing binding will allow for a slightly easier and more maneuverable ride and is better suited for beginner snowboarders and park riders. While a stiffer binding will have more response and therefore more performance, this kind of binding is better suited for the higher level rider who is typically doing more free riding and going faster more often. And then in the middle of the spectrum with a mid flexing binding, you'll get great performance for someone who's looking to ride everywhere and do everything. Typically, it's nice to pair a softer flexing board with a softer flexing binding and also a stiffer flexing board with a stiffer flexing binding. This allows for a binding and board to be paired up with the certain performance level that you're looking to get out of it. Now, when you're looking at two different models of snowboards that have a similar flex, those boards can still ride very differently because a bunch of other factors that go into the difference between snowboards. With bindings, on the other hand, similar flexing binding models are gonna ride pretty similar, so don't get too hung up on the difference between similar flexing binding models. The next thing you're gonna check out when buying bindings is finding the proper size binding for the boot that you're riding. Now, different brands will have slightly different size charts when you're looking at their bindings, but typically, a medium binding is gonna be between an eight and a 10 and a half. Large is gonna be bigger than 10 and a half, and a size small is gonna be smaller than an eight. But if you have a boot that has a larger footprint and you're on the end of the size scale, so say a 10 and a half, you might wanna see how that boot fits in a binding because that might push you into a large binding. If you are in between sizes of a small and a medium or a medium and large, just put your boot in the binding, strap it up, and make sure it looks like it fits properly. For women's bindings, you'll typically see a range of a four to six and a half for small, seven to eight and a half for medium, and a nine to 11 for size large bindings. If this video has been helpful to you this far, it would mean a lot if you could slap that like button so this info can spread to more people who are looking to buy bindings. And the next thing you're gonna to wanna to check out with your bindings is the mounting compatibility to the board that you're riding. There are pretty much two mounting options on snowboards. There's the classic four x four inserts, and then there's the Burton EST channel. If you are mounting onto a Burton EST channel, you can put any binding on this board. And in fact, most bindings come with a disc that has the option for a four hole mounting board or for the Burton EST channel. But the big thing to keep in mind is that for any binding you put on a Burton board, you wanna make sure you use the black Burton hardware. And that's because the EST channel uses a shallower screw so if you use a silver screw, it will be too long and it will dent the channel and put a dimple in the base of your board. Now, if you have a four hole mounting board, the only binding that you cannot put on this board is a Burton EST binding. The way you can tell you have a Burton EST binding is that on the outside of the binding, there are spots where only two screws go. And this is made to go only on the Burton EST channel. And one of the big things you might be asking with the difference of bindings is cost. What does a more expensive binding get you versus a cheaper binding? To learn about that, watch this video right here to understand the price breakdown, in not only bindings, but snowboards and boots as well. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.